let's talk about introducing a young or inexperienced dog to birds for the first few times. What we're trying to accomplish is that the dog has success, always has success in this situation. What I use, I like a tip up. Why? Because when I place a bird there, I know it's gonna be there. It's not going anywhere. And that's the first part of success. Next thing I use, I like our Field King almost famous 20 foot check cords. Why? First, it gives me 20 feet. I can go up and down it as I need to for training the dog. Next, it's somewhat stiff. I like that. It's not gonna get tangled up. Not gonna have to worry about it. I know where it's gonna be. Another thing I should say, which is the most important thing. You want to introduce your dog to the scent cone at a 90 degree angle. The reason you want that 90 degrees is so the dog will come in, no scent, no scent as it's coming in. As soon as it hits that scent cone, it's gonna get 100% scent. Boom, the dog should lock up, indicate that that bird's there. That's what you want. The problem with bringing a dog in from downwind is they're gonna get into that scent cone. The further they go into the scent cone towards the bird, the stronger that scent's gonna be. And then that dog just hard charges right into that bird. And that's not why we're here. What we want is we wanna get that dog, boom, smell that scent, lock on point, and stand there. So first thing you have to do is find out where that scent's coming from. Where's that wind blowing? You do it in any number of ways. If it's nice and dry out, you can kick the ground. You can see where maybe some dust, some dirt, the way that's flowing, that's gonna give you a really good indication of what's happening at ground level. You can also take some real light and see where that's moving off to. Here it shows that it's kind of moving this way. Don't have very much wind today, but that's okay. When we plant birds, it's important to put the bird on the upwind side of your objective. For instance, the breeze is flowing this way right here. We're gonna put the bird on the upwind side. Why? We don't want to entice that dog at this stage in their learning curve to, that they see the bird and they wanna go right in after it. We, all it is is it's about set right now. So we're gonna put the bird on the upwind side, use this foliage right here to mask the bird, to hide it, just like it would in uh, nature, and uh, then go ahead and bring in the dog. Got Ozzy here, got him on our 20 foot check cord. I'm gonna take him downwind of this bird. I'm not gonna be right up on it. I'm probably gonna be five, six, eight, ten 10 feet off of it. Enough to where he's actually gonna get the scent, but not where he's gonna to wanna to jump in on it because the scent is just way so strong. Also, I'm not gonna be way out here on the check cord. That's just way too much room. I'm just, I'm, I'm giving him enough rope to hang himself as they say. What I wanna be is I wanna be right up on it, right here, enough room where he can move around, but enough room that when he stops, boom, I can let him know, stop. I'm right here, we're a team. All right, come on. Whoop, whoop, attaboy. Perfect, perfect. See, he's got all that scent. He locked on it right away, boom. That's what we want. Now we're gonna have my training buddy go ahead and flush the bird. I'm gonna make sure Ozzy stays where he is. I'm gonna wanna be nice up and close on him so that if he breaks, I can stop him right away. dog obviously has had some experience doing this. What we like to do also is now when we're moving the dog away from the birds, we don't want to let him go in there. Because that, that totally defeats the purpose. If we're going to heal him out. I like a dog that heals. We're going to go ahead and heal him. I heal on my right hand side. And we're basically going to go directly opposite of where the bird was as well as where it flew off to. So there's no delay chasing. There's no one going back to where the bird came from. We're going to take him off. We're going to control the situation. 
That's what you want to do here. Total control. They're young, they're inexperienced. Yep. Next time you go out, good solid check cord. Again, I like the stiffer ones. They don't get all caught up. Make sure you're close to the dog when you bring them in on a bird. It's not right here. You don't have to be right there. You need the dog to be able to work the breeze, that's for sure. But you also need to have enough check cord close enough so you can control the situation if you need to. Tip a bird releaser. Bird's always gonna be there when you get there. If you like this video, would like to see more training videos that we do here at Dogs Unlimited, subscribe to our channel. We'd appreciate that.